Hello, welcome to Ozscale Modeling, and this is part, we're up to part seven of the Blyhawk German Bismarck 1700 scale. And if you watched the last one, you would see that I was um, going to finish the painting of the camouflage on the hull, and also have a look at the superstructure that I've built that now has the boats on it. Now I can show you the hull almost complete, it's almost there. So see here, all I have left to do is the white inside that black center one on each side. Um, the reason why I hadn't done it yet was because I have to tape over that black and I wanted to give that at least 24 hours to dry, which it's had now. And then I'll tape over that, I'll spray the white, and that will complete the camouflage. So we'll come back and have a look when I've done that, which is what I'm about to do when I finish recording this. Um, but in the meantime, because once that's done, I can finally put the deck on there. And I'm really looking forward to doing that, because then I can get on with step 11, which will be putting that whole superstructure down that we've built which is here, quick look at this, so there that is, it's got the boats on there, it's uh, all done, except for those railings that I mentioned in the last video that weren't in the instructions, I'm actually going to leave those until I've done some more of the ship, because I don't want to be putting on parts that have suddenly realized oh that's for something else so i can do that anytime they're easy to access so the plan will be to drop the turret on there which i've got that ready uh, put that on the deck when the deck's on the ship and continue on now uh, as you saw in the last video the cranes are in there they're done uh, just need painting and just move that out of the way so it doesn't get knocked so what i've done is skipped ahead to section 11 on the instructions where we're starting on that second superstructure which is at the more towards the rear of the ship the only thing in between the two really is the um the launch for the aircraft uh float planes but let's have a quick look at this so i've started on this part I've got a bit of photo etch, and again, it looks, well, it is, it's a couple more boat racks on there. There'll also be a couple more, I think, over here. Not too sure. Or, or No, oh, that's right. There'll be another couple boats. So we've got four boats going across the top of there, eventually. Um, I've still got to do the racks for those, which is what you'll see here. There's one tiny little piece that I'm working on at the moment. Um, I've got to build a second one of them and they will go pretty much on either side there uh, and then all of this structure goes onto this which will be get this right I think yep so that's going to go on there like that now there's also wood decking on all of this. So this has wood decking on the bottom and this has wood decking on the side as well as on the top. So this means that this will all have to be sprayed um, before I put the decking on. So I'm basically putting all the parts I can that will let me put the decking down over the top. Um, there are some spots in here. There's some guns to go on and uh, a couple of little boxes that go on there that I can't put on yet because the wood decking won't fit over them. Um, so little bits that need to be hand painted, pretty much what we did on the first superstructure, just that working process order uh, all over again. Um, so although this was a little bit trickier because this is in... Uh, couple of extra um, parts to this and there's quite a bit more photo etch to be built up on this as well 
and uh, but anyway, it's it's coming along well. So what I'll do right now is I'm going to get that um, camouflage on the side of the ship painted and done, and we'll come out. We'll have a look at that, and we'll do a quick test fit of the deck. See how that's going to sit down on top. Maybe even glue it down. See how we go. All right, and back back shortly. Okay, so as promised, we're back and I've done the painting finished and there it is look at that come up nice and clean um, nice lines um, but I will be honest there's a little bit of overspray on the black on that side of that one but I'll just touch that up a bit of gray it's no problem but yeah really happy with the way that's come up now I'm basically going to have to now just uh, it's time to put the deck on there. I think I don't think I've forgotten anything. No, no, we're ready to put the deck down. Now while all that was drying, just put this aside. I was working on the other superstructure and the photo etch for it for the lifeboats. And we've got some more frames here for lifeboats. See if you can see that. So. Um, they're very tiny but there's a couple more uh, look like uh, gangways like walkways that need to be put on the side of these just one on each side um, but yeah they're all as you can see quite tiny uh, but simple to put together and they've all fitted on there really nice I'm not sure how much more I can do on this because I'm going to have to paint soon. Um, there's a lot of railings to go all the way around, but I'll have to hand paint those. Um, or paint them while they're on the sprue. I'm not sure which way I'll go with that yet. Um, but once I get paint on this, then we can put down the wood decking on here as well. And then the other bits and pieces that go on top of the wood decking. All right. So what I will do now is i'll grab our wooden deck and uh see how that looks sitting on there and uh we'll make a decision then whether that needs to be glued down or not probably does we'll be back in a shortly back shortly oh one more thing i forgot to mention was that uh this ship didn't come with a stand and uh, after i'd already painted the hull i thought well, what am I going to mount this on? It's a shame. Um, fortunately, I went through my um, previous builds where I built the 1700 scale uh, Nimitz aircraft carrier. And I did the waterline version, which meant that inside was left the stand. So I have a stand now, which is going to be perfect for this so I'm going to be able to just rest it on here so I'm really happy about that now um, yeah so um, I'll be back cheers okay so we're back with uh, the deck here I've just been test fitting it and uh, it was t it's tight I won't yeah, that's for sure. It's, it's quite tight. Um, yeah, I did have to uh, just hit it with a file a little bit. And actually, that's pretty much on there now. That's how we want it to be. Uh, so I did have to just file a little bit around here. and uh, And it fits well. So what I've got is I've got some clamps here. I'll clamp it down. I've got some some of this soft um, foam that I'll use just to put this on the clamp so we don't scratch anything. Um, I'll put down a layer of the Tamiya cement all the way around to start with and then place the deck on there. Then we'll tighten it up with the clamps and i've also got some rubber bands if i need to do a little bit more um 
and then I'll go around with the um, this which is not it's the um, SMS uh, equivalent to the extra thin cement we'll go around and give that a layer on there as well and put that away for the night so that that um, glues completely solid um, but yeah it's uh, it's gonna look good when that's on and then um, I'll be able to come down and we'll be able to put some of the um, superstructure and pieces down on place and catch up to where we're supposed to be in the instructions all right back shortly okay so there she is all clamped down I'll um I'll leave that overnight and uh yeah it's looking good it's gone down really nice so while that's happening i'll um, go back to that superstructure and the little bits of photo etch and finish those off and um we'll continue when i come back back shortly okay hello welcome back so it's been overnight and um We've got the deck on, I've taken the clamps off and pretty much perfectly sitting on there. Uh, yeah, went down well. We're sitting flat just as we want. So the next thing with this now that the deck's on is I can go back to step 11 which was to put this superstructure on top. Now I've already test fitted it and it does fit. There was one little bit of photo etch uh, underneath here. There's a bit of piece across the bottom there uh, that had lifted and that was catching on the wood deck in there. I just glued that down and it's fine now. And that will sit pretty much like that. So now um, other parts we can put on the deck in this step 11 are the cranes which we have here but they're not painted yet and they're also things that could be easily knocked off so I won't be putting those on. Now I still have railings to put on here so I need to make sure I've got access to be able to do that later. Um, the instruction also have us putting on the turret on the front here. And I don't know if you can see, but in that hole there, you'll see that I've still got the main um, sprue that was inside the hull in there. That's just created a bit more support. But another good thing I didn't realise, and I'll show you when I remove this, that aside, is that my little um, clips here, which I use for holding stuff, can actually go down into the holes there, one on each end. And I've got something to hold it by, which will be very handy when everything is on except those two turrets and I can clear coat it because then I've got something that I can hold it by and uh, clear coat the whole thing in one go. But just for picking up and moving it and everything, um, that works out really well. Um, there are other little uh, smaller turrets it's telling me to put on the deck here um, which they are painted they are ready to go so I might do that and we have a few other little bits and pieces there's the um, uh, there's a couple also lifeboats which I haven't done yet to go on here as well there's about four um, we've also got going back even further was up here with the anchor chain and all that section here well I need to put down the stickers on there first which I was going to um, clear coat over that to give a better surface for the, for the decals to stick to um, so that will be left till later but there's all little bits and pieces of fittings on the deck that can all go on now and the chain can stay till later. Same with down the stern here as well. There's quite a lot of bits and pieces that can go on now. And a lot of those pieces will have to be individually painted. Um, but yeah, it's coming on 
quite well. It's really starting to look look good. So I will continue on. What I'm working on, as you know, is this part here, which is this section of superstructure, which I've put a bit of photo etch railings are on the side of that. This will also have decking. So that's going to go down on there like that. And then on top of that, we have this piece, which again, this one's ready to paint. And let me just make sure it goes on the right way. That's going to go on there like that. Um, so gradually building that up. Um, so, yeah, so there's probably a few things that need to get painted shortly as I go. And of course, decking, there's quite a bit of um, wood decking to go on those areas as well after it's painted. And yeah, so I'll, I'll keep going here and uh, we'll come back and have a look at um, where I'm up to next, which will be um, working on that. <laughs> All right, back shortly. Hey, welcome back. So I'm just uh, working on the superstructure here and putting all little bits of pieces around here and some vents that have got to go on the end. And uh, I come across a little, like a little pipe that needs to go in here. And it's quite interesting. The, the instructions here say the part number is actually 98. And there's two of them. Oh, zero, sprue zero, which we're on, 98. So I'm looking through and I'm going, I'm having a look here. And we got, it's going to focus for us. But anyway, so in here we've got 94, 95, 96. 97, 99, 93, 99, 92, 91, 90. 80s are back here. Up here we go up to 70s and 60s. So all the 90s are here. There's no 98. I'm thinking, wow, okay. There's definitely no 98. But then, way over here, amongst the 25 and 26, there's our two little 98s in there. <laughs> so there you go. So if you're looking for screw zero parts 98, look over where the 25s and 28s and 27s are. Not down where you would expect them to be, where the other 90s are. Okay, another challenge conquered. Back shortly. <laughs> Okay, hello, welcome back. So I thought I'd show you a bit of um, photo etch that I'm working on here. Just to show you how much fun photo etch is. Um, so what you're looking at is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces, which are actually, when they're put together, become one piece. So all these have to be bent, twisted, rolled, and joined, <laughs> and glued make one piece which is on the top of the second superstructure that I'm building at the moment so with the instructions we'll have a look and these are the pieces here so these are what we've got to work with goes through goes through and then finally at the end we end up with something that looks like the final picture there. Get that to look like that. So, yeah. Shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, and just to give uh, an idea of the size. There we go. All right. So, I'll be back when I have this successfully constructed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Okay, welcome back again. So, I've finished it. There it is. Oh, it fell over. There it is. I can leave it like that. It's pretty small. I'll throw some photos up here somewhere. And you can see the progress in those photos of um, the build of it. 
it uh, worked out okay came up all right didn't have any problems um so that is going to get put away into the little box until i need to paint it which i will have to do pretty soon well, i really doubt that's gonna it's not really gonna show oh it's not too bad but uh yeah I haven't mastered sol soldering. In fact, I've never soldered anything in my life, so that wasn't an option. But the CA glue did fine. So now what happens is I've, um, I'm going to put the markings on the deck, which I mentioned earlier that I was going to just um, clear coat that so the deck will stick. And... So I'll just grab that and I'll show you. So as you can see, that's that's just got a little bit of clear coat over there, just to help those decals will stick onto them on there a bit better. Um, the one on the bow there, I need to put the decal on before I put the anchor chain on. So I can't do much up there. There are a few other little bits and pieces I can put on the deck. In fact, there's lots of stuff to go on the deck. Um, that center superstructure is all glued in place now, so it's all looking good. While that's drying, before I can touch that, I've also got the other superstructure um, all painted up and drying at the moment, uh, including the cranes that I've painted. And I've also, you might notice, I put up a video about the um, the lack of a stand that came with this kit. There was no stand came with the kit. And I was looking, thinking what my options might be, what to do. And um, I got some good suggestions there, uh, which um, I was going to thinking about getting a base and putting a couple of pedestals and, and doing that. But... Um, problem with that was that I didn't realize when I made that video that I just glued the deck down on the hull so I can't access inside there so if I need to screw something in and tight I can't I can't do that um, best I could have done was just glued something underneath to hold it but that wouldn't be secure enough so I've gone with the alternative of doing the base um, from another kit that I used, which was the 700 um, Nimitz. They, I did the waterline model and there was a base left from for that, which I'll just grab it now and show you. Okay, so there's the base. Um, it was black, I've undercoated it and then I've painted it. What I've tried to do was get like a, a cement looking color We've got sort of a, a grey on that. I'm going to tape this up and I'm going to do some a mixture of gunmetal and, and aluminium for these sections here and some brown, uh, like a deck tan. Anyway, I'll get it looking something like a dry dock. We'll see how it shows up. A bit of weathering and stuff like that. Uh, it's looking good in my mind. Let's see if I can make that <laughs> real. So that's drying. I've only just painted that as well. So what I'll do now is move on to the uh, catapult. Uh, so you can see here, the photo etch catapult looks a lot different, a lot better than the kit one. Let me just grab that and I'll show you. Okay, it's going to be a little bit difficult to see because it's so small, but there's the kit one on the sprue there. That's it there. So, I mean, it's it's okay. It does have detail. Probably can't see the detail, but, you know. But it's definitely not going to look as good as what this will. Um... So I'm going to start working on this. Now this has quite a lot of detail. 
lots of pieces to be put together so I'll put that together now and uh, we'll come back and have a look at it okay back shortly okay welcome back everyone and I finally got those catapults done well there's one but it's in two pieces as you can see there now I've got these mounted on this stick because actually they're a pair of chopsticks um, because they need to be painted I'll put some pictures up so you can see better because they're extremely small I've also got the top um, area of one of the superstructures I'll be painting that as well um, give you an idea of scale there's our matchstick in the frame so um, yeah uh, really really tiny stuff I was just I don't know how I was going to do this but I did um, it doesn't get smaller than that um, there's quite a few pieces to it there's probably about 12 pieces of photo etch on the two of these including the stairways railings <laughs> And more so yeah incredible so i'm going to go and paint these now and i'm going to go and check my um clear coat on the deck and see if i can maybe place the decals down on that and then start working on the deck i've got uh the what was it the base for it as i showed you that i was painting up um and i'm going to when that dry, I've got a few things here. So I've got like a red. Let me adjust this camera back up. I'll be back in back in shortly. <laughs> okay, we're back. So um, what I've found amongst my paints is I've got a red brown here, which I'll do some of the um, the main areas under the ship being held up by that dry dock. I've also got some flat aluminium, which will come in handy, and gunmetal. I'll do a few darker spots. So it's all experimental, a bit of masking and stuff to do, but looking forward to trying that. If it doesn't work, well, I'll just paint it all black again. And have it sitting on a black plastic stand. Yeah, you don't know till you try. So, all right, um, once again... I'll go paint these and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, welcome back again. And uh, I've got that catapult um, done in an undercoat. Waiting for that to dry. And I'll put the main coat back on. The superstructure out there I've decided is uh, dry enough to put some decking on. So this piece here, I'm going to put the decking down on and then I'll stain it um, to match the rest of the decking on the ship which I've been fiddling around with and just as you'll see here I've just been putting um, some little bits and pieces that go on here some hatchways and so forth that I'll touch up with the brush just to put those little bits on I got to a point where the next piece to put on there goes on the side actually goes it's like a boom sticks out on the side here but I have to paint it before I can put that on so I've just done that and I'll wait for that to dry. But in the meantime, we'll get this decking on here and possibly on the other piece that goes on top of here, I should be able to put that decking on, which will be one of these. Probably that one, I'm not sure. Okay, so I'll put this on and we'll come back and have a look and see how, how it looks when, it, when it's done. Back in a sec. Okay, so I'm progressing along quite well. This piece has come up okay. There's all stained. And then I'm doing this one now. I'm just going to brush that on with my uh, weathering colour, Mr. Weathering um, Stained Brown. And I uh, think that that piece can probably go on top of that then but this isn't to go on the deck yet oh, instructions haven't gone that far yet 
Um, I've got the cranes here all painted up, but I'll be putting them aside because they'll go on last because they're easily damaged. And there's a couple of other bits and pieces to go up on top of this. So that may be able to get glued on. We'll just have to check. Uh, another piece here. I know it's hard to see, but let's have a look. Get that. Uh, that one there with the photo etch on it. Platform. A couple of searchlights on it. I'll put some um, uh, ammo glue on there to make those... Um, Search lights glisten like they've got a lens in them. Give them that glass effect. And that goes on top of this piece as well. So uh, I'll get into that and then I'll have a break for the day because then I've been at this for about eight hours straight now. I think that's long enough. All right, but we'll come back shortly and uh, we'll have a look at a little bit further before we call this a video. Back in a sec. All right, back again, and this time the deck's all done. Um, I've glued all these sections on. So um, yeah, it's all looking really nice. Everything went on nice, straight, beautiful. Um, yeah, it's come up quite good. So uh, did the glass and the spotlights. They're still see the white spots in there they'll dry clear and uh, it's all done now that of course there's a lot to go on here yet we've got more railings we've got guns to go on here turrets to go on here we've got ladders to go on there's a multitude of stuff but we've progressed quite well and, um, so I'm going to put that aside now I'll put everything aside I'm going to organize and sort myself out I noticed that we haven't um, come across having to do the mast yet, which is here. So we have a mast to build. That will probably be the last of the harder photo etch pieces that we need to do. Other than that, there will be uh, little bits and pieces on the boat again that I've started on. I'll continue with that in uh, next video will be video eight part eight of this build and um, yeah we'll we'll progress there I still have some lifeboats to build there's quite a lot of bits and pieces still to go so yeah but I'm really happy with the progress it's coming along really really well and looking nice so okay so please uh, thanks for watching um, Subscribe if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, hit the notifications tab and make sure you get notified when the videos come out. I am starting to release them uh, a little bit more often now, so you might see frequency increase a bit. And uh, and please comment below. Comments are welcome. Uh, tips, suggestions, whatever you want. Put it down the bottom there. And I'll see you all in part eight of this Bismarck 1700 build. Thanks. See you soon. Bye.